What's up guys, it's Will back again, and today I'm here to review Ridley Scott's newest film, The Last Duel. The Last Duel is based on a 2004 novel from Eric Yeager and follows three unique perspectives of a personal conflict and a very serious accusation. The film stars Adam Driver, Matt Damon, and Jodie Comer and follows each of the three characters in separate chapters. Let me start off by saying that it really is unfortunate that this film bombed so hard at the box office. It opened to a $4.8 million domestic opening on a budget of over $100 million. So it's not gonna be a profitable film, at least in the short term. I don't like seeing any movie flop, but it's especially upsetting when a film as good as The Last Duel does. This film is unique because it tells the story in three chapters from three perspectives. The reason this works so well is because the unique perspectives recontextualize previously understood events by highlighting the significant influence of an individual character's perspective. You see that the truth is blurred based on who's recounting the story. The story's construction allows the plot to feel cohesive, even though the audience is forced to experience events multiple times to fully contextualize each character's experience. This can at times feel a bit redundant, as there are occasionally only minor discrepancies between each character's recount of an event, but for the most part, it's a unique and fresh approach to storytelling. It is non-linear, which I usually do not prefer to linear storytelling, but it highlights the potential for bias within a story's narrator in a way that I very much appreciated and enjoyed. I would describe The Last Duel as brutal but compelling. There's stretches of this film that are very uncomfortable to watch, but the events that follow make for compelling drama. We all know that the rule of law in our society can be flawed on occasion, but the film asks the viewer to subconsciously apply a modern code of law and morality to a much less enlightened time. There are many things, mostly revolving around the themes of sexism and misogyny, that continually reappear throughout the story. What The Last Duel does to tackle these heavy topics is effective because it never feels like it's beating you over the head with a moral lecture. Instead, it presents the viewer with a morally complex story containing both areas of gray and black and white to more maturely illustrate the hardships endured. This story also illustrates the corruptible nature of human beings and how we can easily lose sight of right and wrong when we're blinded by our own selfish motivations. This is primarily present in Matt Damon and Adam Driver's characters who are typically fighting for the pursuit of their own selfish desires or what they claim to be their honor. It manifests itself in the form of a final duel that has far-reaching implications for all parties involved, leading to you know a lot of tension as the final showdown takes place, which a lot of people are there to see. All three of the leading actors are incredible, but I felt Jodie Comer really stole the show here. I've only ever seen her in Free Guy before, which she was awesome in, but I thought she was the best part of The Last Duel. Her perspective is the most interesting because it allows the viewer to learn revelations into the alleged crime that, you know, up until that point felt murky or unclear. There are key details that feel like they're missing until you receive that final perspective that fills in the gaps. Jodie Comer also beautifully nailed the depth of her character and fully showcases the trauma that she endures. Adam Driver and Matt Damon are both great in ways that I think will contrast from what viewers are you know, used to or expecting from them. I really can't say more than that though because I feel like I'm tiptoeing through a field of spoilery landmines. Uh, just trying to discuss this film. I'll just say that Matt Damon and Adam Driver embody a lot of negative traits in this film, and that's mostly what leads the film towards its climax that most viewers are going to the theater to see. I should also mention that Ben Affleck is in this film, and he's credited as one of the writers. He's good, uh, but he's not quite in it as much as the other three performers are. I think a lot of people are going to watch this film with the expectation that it's a renaissance sort of epic with lots of action. I went in expecting just that and was pleasantly surprised to find that there is more entertainment present in the drama than the action. The Last Duel is far more concerned with the intricacies of politics and personalities and selfish desires, more so than it is its blood and spectacle. There's certainly some of the latter, but the film is more unique by focusing on the former. The Last Duel insightfully focuses on the cost of ambition, lust, desire, selfishness, and more importantly, the truth. This is a very hard-hitting story that doesn't pull its punches, but by being so transparent, it makes the characters, the atmosphere, and the stakes feel very real. The Last Duel is truly a very strong film from Ridley Scott and one of the best I've seen from him in years, to be honest. It's a shame it didn't perform as well at the box office as most would have thought, but if you still have a chance to go support it, I'd highly recommend you check it out. As for the pros cons, for the pros, The Last Duel delivers three stellar performances, a compelling non-linear story structure, great character-driven drama, and lots of exploration of themes centering around human nature. As for the cons, I'd say the non-linear structure at times felt a bit monotonous because certain events only differ slightly and revisiting them twice over or three times over can get redundant. I'm gonna give The Last Duel a nine out of 10 still and highly recommend you check it out wherever you can. If you enjoy drama and don't mind this time period, I think you'll be very happy with this one.
So did you guys get a chance to see The Last Duel yet? If so, let me know what you thought of it. And if not, let me know whether it sounds like a film you'd be interested in watching. Be on the lookout for more reviews and live streams from me shortly in the near future. Uh, there's going to be so much coming up on this channel. I can't wait for you guys to all experience it with me together. But uh, yeah, that's all for now. And this is Will Fox Vacation signing off. I will see you in the next video.